Hi, welcome to Tech Ranch, a place where we learn and earn technical skills in the most efficient way. Let's make coding fun. Java coding exercise series one, permutation and combination. So in this session, we'll see how to program and implement permutation and combination in Java. So before we get into it, let's first learn about permutation what is combination, what is the logic behind it, how we can implement it, solution, the demonstration and the execution, and the practice project for your homework. Now let's see what is actually a permutation. Permutation is the different arrangements that a set of elements can make if the elements are taken one at a time, some at a time, or all at a time. So you see, as you can see, when we have a bunch of colorful balls in a basket and we have to set it in, in the, and we have to map it. So while mapping these colorful balls to some other balls, what we need to see, we need to just pick it up randomly. If you have seen the gum balls, that's how they work. Like when you enter the coin, they will come out the gum balls, but the permutation, the combination and the elements has arranged in such a way that randomly picked it up and provided to you one colorful ball. So the formula for the permutation is going to be like this, the factorial n divided by factorial n minus r, where n is the number of things and r is the number of times you are going to access it. If you see, there is one more better example to understand about the permutation is what the dice. We have a dice and one dice has six sides because it's a cube and all six sides provide you one circle white circle now when you throw a dice so there will be possibility of coming up a specific number and if you want that specific number out of that dice you need to make the possibilities or probabilities can happen when you throw a dice so this is what about the permutation that comes from the word called probability or the possibility now let's learn about combination so combination is just like permutation and it's nothing but the different ways of selecting elements if the elements are taken one at a time some at a time or all at a time now to understand combining permutation and combination it's are a part of combinatorics where uh, we are going to arrange the elements and check out and study and analysis of possibilities and the combination different types of combination you can make it with the specific number of elements now the formula for combination is factorial n divided by factorial n minus r and multiplied by factorial r where n is the number of things and r is the number of times of the possibility or the activity or you can say an event now to in order to implementation permutation can be used with your factorial implementation so as for the formula formula of permutation and the combination all you need to just have a factorial implementation and use it accordingly now as you can see here the formula says factorial n divided by factorial n minus r for combination is factorial n divided by factorial r multiplied by factorial n minus r so this will help you to implement your all possibilities and probabilities and the combination of an event now let's take a look at the development as you can see what we are going to do in the implementation we are going to have a strings instead of dice because the dice has numbers here we are going to have a string we are going to check the possibilities of uh, rearranging the characters and making a come up with the string so these type of uh, application used to find out some word games or some kind of rearranging quizzes or uh, possibilities of these dice and snakes and ladders or these kind of games you can use with this type of implementation. So let's take a look at the implementation. What we are going to do here, first as usual we are going to get the scanner implementation to get the string to get a specific number of elements so once the element is defined all you need to first find out the length of the string 
and the length of the string will finally go and check out the giving you and then we have to find out the factorial a simple factorial type of implementation and the swapping the permute and the swap now swap method will basically check out all the characters and uh, later it will come up with your possibilities now let's take a look at the demonstration so now let's take a look at the demonstration of permutation and combination of string so this is my eclipse ide in first thing first what we have to do we have to create a class and this class named as permutation demo permutation and combination demo you can say combination demo and we can have a main method so this is my class and uh, first thing first we need to have import our java util to have a scanner implementation now main method or what we can do we just have to have scanner and input string what we are going to do here we are going to have our what we are going to do here we are going to have a string which is going to provide you all kind of uh, possible string from those characters rearranging the characters so that's the reason i'm going to have a enter string and what is going to happen here when we have a string then it uh, this program this implementation will rearrange the characters and come up with all possible or combination of this characters and come up with the strings and uh, next step uh, string str equals uh, in dot next line or you can have a string next that should be enough too so once we have a string all you need to just call the print method now i'm going to use a static method static void print permutation you see so this method will have an argument of string str in string uh, something all possible strings so let's have an arguments defiant and once this is done what we have to do is first we need to this is string basically nothing but the string which the user will enter so we need to have the length first so to calculate the length of the string is going to be used by method string and have a condition of equals to zero so it will count and return you all um, you the answer and it will be your and this will you return you the value the length now once this is calculated next step is what we have to find out the possibilities so let's have a loop which will calculate the and rearrange the characters for a specific length you see and now once this loop is done inside this loop what we have to do we have to have a character and we are going to pick this character from the string your uh, str string and goes to scan it till your i where i is your uh, reading your characters now once this is done next step is we have to have string r where uh, the all rearrange characters make a string so what we are going to do we are going to have a substring which is reading from 0 to i this is a string method defined in string class and uh, which is defined in the lang java lang package so 
all you need to just call and rearrange the characters and come up with string so once this is done then all you need to do is recursive call since it is a factorial type so what we have factorial implementation so you can recall it so next step is just making a print permutation method are your rearrange letters and answer plus change the characters so this is your return and it will call it again now you can see here we have some errors here this these errors are basically your starting from here because we have not specified it is a runtime so we have to initialize it with some values and once this is done all you need to call the method and uh, here you can mention its string and answer is gonna be your blank space for now so now you can see here this is okay this is why it is showing error now it should be good now let's take a look about this one character at so I see the syntax error it has to be like this method definition so let's take a look at the execution and see how it works now suppose it's asking for string I just gave a b c d e now it's showing me all the possible rearranged character string so the problem is going here is there is no print ln I just hope this will work let's try one more time so how suppose I made w uh, w x y z w x y z see so this is showing me all the possible characters rearranged string can be done with this type of string so this is what the permutation and combination implementation with the help of uh, simple if or for and uh, string methods you can use in Java so this is all about the implementation of permutation and combination in Java using control statements so next we are going to have swapping prime number and if you have any other queries and questions please feel free to post comment and Contact us on techranch2019 at gmail.com. Stay tuned for more upcoming interesting videos. And thank you so much for watching this video. Let's make coding fun. Thank you.